Hey everyone, do you know what this is? This is jicama. And if you're not familiar with it, it might be one of the best alternatives to cauliflower and potatoes that you may have never heard of. We're gonna be doing a really cool, quick, easy recipe with this today. So stay with us. Hey everyone, welcome back to Diabetic Savvy. Interesting story for you. I've been working on a potato salad recipe. We've been using cauliflower as our replacement. And I kept thinking there's gotta be a better replacement for potatoes in a traditional picnic style potato salad than just cauliflower. Nothing wrong with cauliflower, but I wanted something that would mimic a bit more of that traditional potato-like texture. And we came across an ingredient that has a lot of the water content, the starchy flavor, the texture of a traditional potato, particularly as it's used in potato salad, and we figured, let's give it a try. The comparisons between jicama and potato are fairly similar, except that jicama is much lower in calorie count, it's got less carbohydrates, it's much higher in fiber, but the water content is similar, and the texture of jicama is somewhere in between that of a radish and a regular potato. So we thought, let's try it in a potato salad. We're gonna start off with three cups of large diced Hickama. Now, when you get jicama, they're going to come with the skin on it, and there's a waxy film on it that they use to ship this in order to preserve them longer. So you're going to want to be sure to peel that off. Then we're going to dice it and steam it. Now that our jicama is fully steamed off, we're going to cool it down by transferring it to a pan and putting it in the refrigerator for about 20 minutes or so, just to fully cool down before we finish off our potato salad. Let's talk about the base for the potato salad itself. We're using six tablespoons of mayonnaise, one tablespoon of Dijon mustard, two teaspoons of red wine vinegar, and our spice mixture to round all this out is a quarter teaspoon of garlic, a quarter teaspoon of curry powder, a quarter teaspoon of salt, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, it's a white dish, one eighth of a teaspoon of paprika, and lastly, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder as well. And we're gonna mix these all together to combine and then set it aside so that all those flavors join together while the jicama is cooling. Our jicama is fully cooled, we have our base mix ready to go, now it's just a matter of simply combining it. But just a couple things about steamed jicama that you need to be aware of. It's still going to have a little bit of that combination between a radishy type texture and a potato texture, so just be aware of that. But it's certainly closer to that traditional potato-like texture than cauliflower. And that was the whole point of this, to give us another alternative ingredient resource for something like potato salad. And now, the moment of truth. Mm. So the jicama sweetens the base mix. This mix has a lot of Dijon mustard in it. I like that acidity and that little bit of a bite, if you will. But with the jicama, because it sweetens up the base mix a little bit, it gives you that really traditional deli-style potato salad feel to it. It's just, it's really good. It has a little bit more crunch than a traditional potato salad, but it's really bright. It's lighter than you would expect from a cauliflower potato salad or even a traditional potato salad. Not quite as starchy. That is so good. This is a great alternative to potatoes, cauliflower, and the base is absolutely fantastic. You can certainly use this with anything else that you would want, broccoli, anything else. It, it, this is just a great recipe. I hope you'll consider trying this and let us know in the comments if you like what we're doing, if you like the recipe, if you've tried it out. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. As is traditional, I will leave the recipe in the show description, which is right down below. Hit the show more button. Also at the end of the video, by a full slide. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as part of the community and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when new content is being uploaded to the channel. We will be back in a few days with a new recipe and or food review. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves, be healthy, be carb deliberate, and we'll see you soon.